Well, hello, 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 everyone. Still looks like it's not working right. But we will see if we're live and we will go from there. So hold on and let me see. Today we're going to do a wreath if I can get this to work right. And this is our transfer that we're going to use. I'll let you look at that. It's a club couture. So it's telling me I don't have enough disk space to record my video, which it did that last night, I think. But it should be playing the video, so I don't know what's going on. Let's see if I'm even live here. Oh, and it is, it is showing me live. So let me say hello. Nothing's wanting to work right for me tonight. Hi, Nancy. Welcome, welcome. So my sister is on. Let me share to my other page. So that is the Club Couture for this month. It's $19.99 a month and you get it for, you have to sign up for three months if you decide to sign up. Yeah, it just wasn't starting right. So I don't know what's going on. Even my video spinning. So maybe I've got to figure out and get some things off my tablet. And now I'm starting the choking thing again. My <clears throat> asthma's been crazy. Let me grab a drink real quick. Sorry about that. So let me share this to my other page. Let me f see if I can even find it here. I'm pulling up. All my old ones, but I'm not seeing my new one. But my sister says I'm live. Um, so, let's see. Okay, now I can see it. I don't know what was going on. Let me share this with my other group real quick. Sorry about that. I've got to spend some time and get this working better. So, cause I shouldn't be, well, and then you get on all these different phones and everything works differently. Oh, and that was in the VIP group. Not even the one I wanted. Um, so we'll share here. Okay. Sorry about that. Now I've posted to three places. So anyway, this is, this is Club Couture. It comes with the three sample paste. 
and we are going to use that tonight on our wreath. So we'll get back to the table. First off, I want to show, before we even start doing that, I keep having a request to finish the winter wreath. And the wreaths are so hard to do because they take up a lot of space on the table, but I've tried to clean my table off. You're still not going to be able to quite see all of it because it is big. But let me get the table view. So you can kind of see what I did with my plaque that I made. Now if I was going to put this on the porch, I would definitely spray that. So let me turn it sideways here a bit. You can see I've got a long bow hanging. I need to get try and get a better picture. I For some reason I just can't seem to feel like I'm getting good enough lighting on it. So and you can see the jingle bells I have and the snowballs. It is way cute. My daughter came and she would have taken it home. She liked it so much. So we're going to show how to do part of this wreath tonight. We're doing Valentine's, but I've got it pretty much ready. It's not quite as bulky as this one, I don't think. So we'll... We'll see what happens. See if I can get this out of the way. To, so I don't have any problems with it and get it ruined. Um, so let me get the couple of things we're going to be using. Now, I already did a little experiment here because I kind of thought this would be fun to have it popped up. And we may could even still use this. It looks a little rustic. There's a couple of spots because I went back over it. But this is just that foam board. So, and you can tell me what you think. I can re-chalk it on the other side. But what I want to do is, this is my transfer. So I had to dry it. So I want to chalk this white. And then we'll lay this over the top. And go from there. So I'm thinking maybe I need to slide it down just a titch. I figured we could get this part out of the way. And then the wreath is a good part of the way done. I do have to glue some things, but, and I will show you. So we'll, we'll grab our white chalk paste, and I stirred that one up earlier. I should have maybe stirred the, well, I should have maybe added a little more water to that red. Now this doesn't seem to be... I didn't even fuzz this. For some reason, I don't know if it was the foam or what, but it... Kind of doesn't seem to have as much stick, but it's still probably drying. That's part of it. You know, I try to do it fast right before the live. Sometimes you have to let them dry a bit. I really don't need to chalk the whole thing, but we'll chalk it just to see what it looks like. I 
I might would have even thinned this white a little more. I thought it was pretty good, but like yesterday when we were doing that, I noticed the one color that I finally got just perfect consistency because it, it just went on there so smooth and fast. If it's thick, it's harder to spread it on there. And then you'll just try and pull it down in one direction. And then we'll lift straight up. Now I do see a couple of spots where it smeared just a bit. So let me grab my I don't know why it did that. Well, maybe there was a bubble there. Let's see if I can if I can clean this that spot and line that back up maybe it's not horrible but I should have waited and not I was just wanting to experiment on that foam board hi honey welcome welcome Yeah, well, let me get a rag to dry that with. Well, and I can see some white right there that needs to, we don't want any of that to transfer over on that other. And normally you would run into the bathroom and rewash it. Like I say, I just got through doing that. We're just going to try this one side anyway. And I'm going to See if I can clean it up just a little bit with this. Actually, this whole section through there. That's one good thing about the chalk paste is you can erase it and usually get it to work again. Now let's hope I can line this up okay and see if we can get this spot better. I 
I am going to add a little water to my paste. Cause that I felt like that was partly part of the problem is that it could have been smoother. Yeah, I think that's better. I'm going to take some of my pixie spray here. Because then that won't move on me like it probably, that was probably part of the problem before. And that's a lot smoother. So the consistency really makes a difference. I gotta learn that you just have to do it smoother. Do it a little thinner, but you can get it too thin also. So I think that'll work because we're putting that other piece over it. You could even just leave it all white. So that's something we can decide too, because I'll show you the wreath. We won't glue this down yet. And like I say, that's not perfect. So I could re-chalk it even on the other side. There's a lot of glitter stuff stuck to it, but we could re-chalk on this side. It's probably, or just get a whole new piece and and redo it. I say I was just trying an experiment. Um, so anybody can tell me what they think on that, or we could just leave it white. So let me grab the wreath. I'll set this aside. You can be thinking on that if you have any opinions. So this is my... Ah, I forgot my paste was open. Hold on a second. That won't work. <laughs> but let me put the paste away. We'll get that. Like I say, it's, the wreaths are just kind of hard to do because they are so big. So you can see kind of that I have it all together. I do have a spot here that we are, from here to here, I'm going to teach you 
how to finish. Hi, Erica. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining. So, and I'll show you what, this is what I'm using. It's a decorative mash. You could get any kind of mash. This was from Christmas. And it is 10.5 inches by 15 feet. This is my fourth one of these so they were $9.99 a piece but you if you get a good sell on them they wouldn't be as much and you don't even have to use the Christmas you could just use a plain red anything Like I say, this is going to be a little hard, but hopefully I can show you or get you to see what's going on. So I'm going to put my roll behind there because I'm going to work. And I'm going to start this underneath here. So I have to get this attached. And actually, I want it to be, I need to do it this way. So, can you see that? So, I'm starting with the roll facing me. Now, I'm just going to take this. You just want to get this on here and tie it. And then this can go underneath. I, a lot of times I really start it from underneath, but it's, it's a little difficult. Oh, thanks, Erica. So I usually try and do five of those poofs and what you what you want to do is because you've started underneath you pull it up from underneath so remember you have the roll facing you and so you you start and you have one poof now I I like to rotate so I think that last one was over here. I uh, like, let's see. Yeah, and then I went to the middle. So now I'm going to rotate. See, because you have three sections. One, two, three. Let me see if I can zoom in on this part. A bit. Okay, so you have one, two, three. Remember the rolls? facing towards you so you're just going to pull this up in here and you just decide how big you want your loops and then you're going to go back to the center I say I try this is just really a hard one to show because it's just the wreath so big if I would do smaller wreath might be a little easier but this particular one and where you're just not tying the things completely on then you go to the side so your sides of the next one So let's see, I've got three in there. I've done one. Well, actually, let's see. I've got four in there. One, two, three, four. So now I'm back to the center. Now 
I taught your mom how to do this, Erica, so I don't know if she taught you or if she remembers the, how to do this, but I think I taught her this one. People were doing it way different than this, and to me, this is so much easier. So, like I say, you just keep rotating. So, your last one was here, then middle. So now you've got to go clear over to the side. So can you see that? I'm going clear over here to this side piece. And then back to the middle. So you started with one. Yeah, I still didn't get pictures. By the time I got around to being able to take pictures, I was getting texts and then it got too dark. So I will get pictures of my um, swag, bunting, gar wreath, or not wreath, but um, anyway, yesterday I was calling it a swag. Usually they, actually they, it's a banner or a bunting is what they usually call it. So... We started there, so we got one, two, three. It's getting a little harder to see it, maybe. Maybe I need to zoom back out a bit. Uh, or zoom clear in, but. So now I'll go to the next one. And I don't know what my husband meant on sure thing, on what you call the banners, I guess, or buntings. So we're there. I just trying to Remember where I'm at, so I'll go back over to this side. I think that might be our fifth one. I'll have to count them. You could do more than five, but I think five ends up being plenty. can do the burlap in them. You could do anything. Let's see what I've got going on here. Like I said, it's a little hard to show this. Okay, so that, I'm pretty sure that's five. Now, so I guess one more. And then we should be at five. If you're, if you're off one, you would have been okay too because you can't really tell but okay so there's that so can everybody see that we've got that all filled in now it looks nice so I'm going to turn it around so you can see what I'm going to do here I'm just going to cut this I'll just leave a little bit of extra. I don't need a ton. 
and we still have a little bit left but like I say it took it took about three and a half of these to do that so then you can just tuck this under here like that and that's all you need to do and it looks like I have a big piece there that I probably could have pulled through I'll just pull that through like that and then we can flip it back over so that gives you the idea on that now I've already got these prepared but I'll show you what we do on these this is a pipe cleaner. I've taken three pieces. Let me move the wreath out of the way a minute. And then we'll, you know, I'm losing things. They're just isn't enough room for all this so we've got one two three and then I did my little pom-pom piece these are 10 inches and then I just took a pipe cleaner Yeah, they are fun. And there's lots of different methods. I can show you the cut method sometime. Hopefully on a smaller one. Because I this is just so hard. You can straighten it out a little bit now. But you could also just put it in your spot. So I'll show you that. Let me get my glue gun on. Let me check my battery here. I should be okay. The bigger batteries have a way to tell on it. As you can see this wreath stuff is very messy. <laughs> okay, so I'll get that back up here and all I'm trying to do now is I have let's see how many of these I have left I thought I had three but maybe I only have two left No, there, I do have three, so I just kind of have to decide where I want them. This one's kind of over here. That one was there. So I'll probably try and tuck this one in like about here. I kind of just rotate like I do the other thing. Yeah, that would be fun if you could do it when Erica comes over. And then she could learn how to do it.